Today I'm going to show how to connect a source data set to a target data set. I'm going to run over here to the Owl Explorer and I'm going to pick on the New York Stock Exchange data set. I'm going to create a new Owl check. This is now loading it out of the DB2 database. I see that it has materialized it into a data frame for me nicely on the screen. And I'm a little bit curious about this data set. Uh, I wanna see if it's time-based. I'm gonna ask it to analyze it for me really quick. It looks like it is, that it, it's roughly end of day data that loads each day. So I'm gonna pick on one of the days and go and compare it to the source. I'm gonna jump ahead to the source tab. Here's where it shows me that I'll be comparing a source table to a target table, but it might not live in the same database. So let's try to find a file or another database where this same data set might live where we want to compare it to. In this case, I'm going to pick Postgres GCP. That is a Postgres database with a public schema and search for NYSE and preview. This should try to connect them visually for me in real time so I can get a sense before I kick off a larger process. And Owl did a lot of smart things for me here. It shows that the casing is different, but it, it made some suggestions. And I can cancel these suggestions if I don't like them, but it turns out it got them all correct, which is perfect. And I'm going to align them. And I know that in this case, the exchange and the symbol is likely the key. And I'm going to compare per date because this was already time series data. So I'm not going to pick the date. And I can see an interlacing of the two files. I can see that they, they've already probably been aligned correctly before I launched this job. Jump over. And on the next tab, I will click run. Here we are. It looks like the agent that I have available is here. Um, I am Good to go with this job. If I want to preview what it set up for me and what I would have had to build as a Spark job from the command line, this is what uh, would have been built. But in this case, I'm just going to click run and kick off the job.